We're going to discuss a very interesting question. Can the bone marrow turn into a heart? So today there's many clinical trials using bone marrow stem cells in order to increase cardiac function for a variety of cardiac diseases. Now even though this is already being tried clinically, there's controversy as to whether the bone marrow cells are causing new blood vessels, a process called angiogenesis, whether the bone marrow cells are preventing programmed cell death of injured heart, called anti-apoptotic functions, or whether the bone marrow cells themselves can turn into heart tissue and make new heart tissue. So let's go back to the basics and to the original discoveries or uh, data that made people try putting bone marrow stem cells into the heart. Well, one of the first papers to open up this field was by Orlick et al. in 2001 in the journal Nature. And in this paper, they took what's called GFP, uh, green fluorescent protein mice, as donors. So in these mice, every cell of the body is green when you look at it under fluorescence. This way you can track it. So they took GFP positive, lineage negative, SCA1 positive, stem cell antigen 1 positive stem cells. So they took these stem cells from the donor mice, which are all green, and in recipient mice, which are not colored, which are normal mice, they induced a heart attack. And then they injected the green cells, the green stem cells, into the area surrounding the dead tissue, into the perinfarct area of the heart. And then they observed whether the green cells are in the heart and whether the green cells take on or become similar to, to heart cells. And as you can see in the picture, uh, this is taken directly from the publication. On the left hand side, on the on the left hand side is the viable myocardium, the uh, the part of the heart that's away from where the infarct was induced. On the right hand side is a, in a closer proximity the wall this is the picture of the left ventricle and this is uh, the wall where the heart uh, attack was induced where there was myocardial infarction and as you can see that area which is in the red red box is primarily green and the authors did a large number of studies which we're not going to go over in this presentation but you can read the publication it's uh, cited up there uh, which they show not only that injecting the bone marrow cells in the heart increases a heart function after myocardial infarction but also that the green that the green stem cells bone marrow stem cells injected actually become green myocardium now animals are interesting but what about humans there's a large variety of studies demonstrating a similar concept in humans. We will just want to talk about one really quickly today, at Deb et al. in the Journal of Circulation. Um, they used a model system, well it's not really a model system, it's, it's a clinical scenario, of female recipients of male bone marrow. So as you know the male has Y chromosome in it and, and the female doesn't and the female uh, receives a male bone marrow for some other therapeutic indications so that only the bone marrow cells in the female should have the Y chromosome. If bone marrow can turn into heart, then the bone marrow in these females should also have the Y chromosome. So um, this was a small study, only four people were looked at and uh, in this table it shows the four patients, the ages, uh, the number of days from transplantation to death. So here was autopsied hearts that were investigated for Y chromosome. And these um, ladies, they passed away uh, from different diseases, all of them associated with hematological malignancies. Uh, this is why they needed the bone marrow transplant. So patient one, for example, had chronic lymphocytic leukemia, patient two had chronic myelocytic leukemia, and patient four had acute lymphocytic leukemia and um, their heart function was relatively normal, the ejection fraction. So why this is important is because the bone marrow makes immune cells. If the heart was dysfunctional or if the heart was inflamed, one would be able to argue that immune cells from the bone marrow, which have the Y chromosome, 
went into the heart and we're not looking at new heart tissue we're just looking at immune cells in the heart uh, but that does not seem to be the case here and then if you keep looking on this table it says the number of Y chromosome positive cardiomyocytes and has uh, and this is from counting from counting 20,000 uh, cells and as you can see all of them had a um, percentage of Y chromosome positive cardiomyocytes and if you look more carefully um, this is a section from that myocardium and there was no inflammation this is H and E staining it just looks for um, morphology there was no cardiac inflammation so there's no reason why the bone marrow immune cells should have been going in the heart now if you take a closer look and you do staining um, this is nuclear staining is in blue the light blue where the arrow is pointing that's Y chromosome and the red is actin which, uh, which is found in the muscles so again we know that this is a, a myocyte a cardio myocyte and it's not an immune cell and as you can see Y chromosome positive cells inside the female uh, heart and then if you look at skeletal mus muscle as well and there's a circumere staining in the red you can also see the blue nuclear staining the white dot in the blue that's fish as in the previous study fluorescent in situ hybridization for the Y chromosome again showing that there is Y chromosome cells in the female heart the female having received a male donor bone marrow so in conclusion bone marrow stem cells do appear to differentiate into myocardium after infarction in mice and clinically in people uh, females who receive male bone marrow some of the myocytes have bone marrow derived cells which look and have markers of heart cells so the next steps there's many different things that can be done with this data uh, first question is are the bone marrow cells that actually go and become myocardium are they derived from the hematopoietic stem cell or are they another type of stem cell like a mesenchymal stem cell and another question of course is can this process be used therapeutically uh, people who have heart attacks for example is it possible to make bone marrow go from the bone marrow into the heart and heal the heart without actually having to give exogenous stem cells thank you very much